Hello there, I'm Chris Oldland, Editor of Field Service News. Now there are some really big exciting topics at this year's Service Management Expo. Connected vehicles, the Internet of Things, wearables, big data, artificial intelligence. All tools that have got a real exciting future within field service. However, we mustn't forget to get the fundamentals right first. We need to be able to get the engineer to the right place at the right time with the right tools and the right parts. At least this is the opinion of Stuart Brunger from Magenta Technologies. He took some time out to tell me a little bit more about why he thinks it's important to get the fundamental technology right before we even start considering the new emerging technologies such as IoT. My name is Stuart Brunger, I'm Business Development Director for Magenta Technology and uh, we're here at the uh, Service Management Exhibition 2015 to introduce our uh, dynamic routing and scheduling uh, solution for field service engineers called Max Optra, which is a cloud-based solution suitable for uh, fleets of from five to however many uh, engineers uh, you may wish to have. From our experience of uh, speaking to uh, typical service industry customers, uh, what we're finding is that whilst they're interested in Internet of Things, big data, these emergent technologies, actually what is driving them almost to our door is actually the expectations of their customers. And whilst our technology does enable huge operational benefits in terms of increased engineer productivity, cost savings, actually it is their concern of business growth and protecting their customer database because of these emerging customer um, expectations. And it's all around, customers now expect a very narrow time window in which an engine for an engineer to arrive. They expect uh, the provider to uh, be able to actually give an accurate arrival time. And they expect to be continually informed by text message, email, um, on their mobile phone. They expect it to be actually advised of that. Now, we know from uh, various research data that, uh, that uh, many, many uh, high percentage of companies actually really don't have, as yet, the building blocks to deliver that. To deliver that customer uh, experience, you need uh, technological building blocks. And what we know is that uh, from research done by various organisations, including Field Service News, that many service organisations still today do not have those building blocks. And typically, a key building block is an automated uh, scheduling solution so that you can actually accurately predict when an engineer may be able to get to a customer. You can actually then connect that to the other key building block which is uh, telematics data so you can actually monitor uh, automatically progress, uh, the engineer getting delayed or whatever so that you can keep the customer uh, by combining those two elements of uh, information to provide the customer data on when uh, engineers will arrive if they're going to be delayed and so on. So whilst, uh, you know, for us certainly, uh, you know, having uh, uh, the capability via the Internet of Things for uh, customer equipment to be able to report that it is becoming, um, let's say, is beginning to show uh, fatigue, which means that you could potentially uh, carry out preventative maintenance instead of an emergency call, many organisations still today haven't really got the first building blocks to, uh, to deliver that. And I, and I think what uh, my view is, and you know, my experience of industry is, that uh, you know, there are two, two dynamics that then happen. There are those organisations that don't act to catch up fast, and actually what happens is they will get swamped by, by newcomers who actually find that you know, technology like what we provide uh, is actually, via a cloud-based solution, very easy to access, they will start eroding their customer base. On the other hand, you'll have customers who actually do see what is happening, and, uh, and, and, and we find these are the customers who are approaching us, who are saying, hang on a minute, customer research is saying they need this information, we need to catch up fast. And that's Stuart Brunger there from Magenta Technologies, talking to us at the Service Management Expo. Now remember, if you want to stay ahead of all the latest trends in field service, be sure to subscribe to fieldservicenews.com. 
You'll find more videos, you'll find features and interviews from the leading industry thinkers. Plus also you'll find a raft of different resources including white papers, podcasts, webinars and much more. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. My name is Chris Oldland, I'm editor of Field Service News and I'll see you again soon. Take care.